Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about jig trailers. There's so many of them out there and uh, it's pretty easy to get confused with all of them. I basically have three that I like to use. Um, the first one I want to show you is Gambler's Mega Daddy. Uh, this thing's kind of a beast, you know, it's, it's a big bulky, uh, big profile, got big uh, flapping pinchers on it. Um, I like to use this when I think I'm around some big fish or I think the fish want a lot of action. Like I can tell that, uh, you know, they look like they're chasing some bait around and, and things really look active, you know, so I, I'll go with that. Um, the second one here that I have is the one probably I use most often and the one I usually start out with. Uh, this is Gambler's Flappy Daddy. And it's basically the same as the Mega Daddy, only it's just a little bit smaller profile. Still has the, the flapping pinchers that, that create some action. It's just not quite as big. It's kind of a good middle of the road. And like I said, where I like to start usually, and then I'll, I'll modify my jig trailers from there. Uh, the third one, this is the one that I like to use when, you know, you know, there's been a lot of fishing pressure or we have a cold front come through, uh, you know, just when the conditions get tough and that's Gambler's BB Cricket. And I'll tell you what, this thing has really, this has caught me a lot of fish and you'll, and you'll see that it doesn't really have those big flappy uh, pinchers and everything on it. It's just a nice, small, compact. Uh, when I slide it up on the back of my jig, it just makes a, a nice, small, compact package. And uh, you know, when the conditions get tough, you'll really get a lot of bites. That's basically my, uh, my gist of, of how I pick my jig trailers, uh, you know, size and action according to the conditions. I hope it helps you catch more fish.